here, so live antennas, that's not correct. It always says that, that's a bug in their software. So it's weird. here it comes. Here we go. Hey everybody, it's David. I'm Brenda. And right down here is Loki, believe you it or can, not. You can, you can see, see half of him. Yeah, you can see him right here. <laughs> Let me see if we can zoom in on him right there. There you go, there's Loki <laughs> down there. Hey, but uh, anyways, we're um, trying something different for the first time. We, did fig we figured, hey, we're all kind of captive, right? And so, literally, uh, <laughs> to, a, to a degree. And we figured, we've never done cooking in, in an RV before in regards to a live broadcast. So, we are in our motor coach. And some people say, hey, I, actually, we've been asked this, you know, when you're living on the road and everything, can you still prepare good meals and everything? But of course you can prepare good meals. Yeah, a lot of people think you're in an RV, you have to have camping meals, which are, you know, those foil packets over a campfire, and those are good. But, yeah, you can prepare meals just like you do at a regular Six and Bricks home. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense uh, that people would think that you couldn't. Um, just because we're in a motorhome or an RV, you could cook high quality gourmet meals. Not that I'm a gourmet cook by <laughs> any stretch of the imagination, um, mind you. I keep looking down here because my, 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 my preview monitor is right here. The camera is actually up here. I'm looking at the wrong place. I apologize. In any case, <laughs> but today for your viewing pleasure and because, hey, let's face it, you're all as bored as we are probably. Yeah, captive audience and boredom equal cooking show with David and Brenda. That's right. So <laughs> you get something different today. Uh, and I notice that this is um, this is. Usually when we do we do RV related things, we have a lot of viewers, and right now we have seven viewers. So, uh, uh, so <laughs> well, doing, 14 online. Do, yeah. do, doing something that's cooking related probably is not the best thing, but we need to eat, and it's six o'clock uh, central time right now. It's yeah. around our dinner time, and we figured we would cook what we consider a gourmet meal, if you will. Yeah, this is one of David's specialties. He uh, came up with it, and if you ask what he uses in the scallops, it differs every time. It does. So I didn't. I didn't have. come up with it per se. <laughs> I just did it. Uh, I, I like scallops. Uh, I got Brenda into scallops a while ago, and what we have is some very nice class uh, uh, um, class one. Uh, Scallops. Are they class A or class uh, one? Uh, class ten, excuse me. C Big. C ten scallops <laughs> from Maine, um, which are um, really nice scallops from Maine, and we'll be cooking uh, six of those each tonight. And basically, how that's going to take off is we're going to be cooking on an induction cooktop. This is a Fager induction cooktop. It is a multiple stage or multiple voltage cooktop on a 240 circuit, which means I have full control uh, 1 through 12 on power settings and everything. Unlike some cooktops, which are either on or they're off, this actually is a full induction cooktop. Um, which, if you see me look over here once in a while, I have David's computer set up and I'm just going to try and keep up with the chat while David cooks, just so you know. Yeah. So right down here uh, will be our prep meal area right here. This is where it's all going to take place as far as the cooking goes. Um, I have pre-set up some camera angles, hopefully, that will work out for us here. And uh, not that you guys don't know how to cook scallops, but maybe some of you don't. And uh, if you do, great. Um, please do feel free to say good job or bad job, but just understand <laughs> the fact that we're making this because it's dinner time. We're, we're bored. bored. <laughs> Jinx, you only coke. <laughs> so, we wanted to, so we wanted to go live and do this for fun. And at the end of this, um, we will be eating it off camera. Yes. Um, so when we're done, we'll show you how it all looks and looks when it's all prepared and everything uh, and finished. And hopefully this will all work correctly. And um, we'll see. You can usually get scallops anywhere, any grocery store. Um, we like to get them at Costco because you get a bigger bag. They're usually a good size scallop, as David showed you. And this is half the bag. So we can get two meals out of, you know, one of the large bags from Costco. Right. And that's six scallops each for two meals. So yeah, these are these are class 10 scallops. These are from Maine. Um, Costco has a really good selection of seafoods. And we're going to start off uh, with our little cooking show now. So I just hope you hope this works out, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm, I got to look at something. Something's weird on my screen here, and I don't know. 
uh, if that's going to do anything for me. But anyways, okay. So, um, yeah. So how we start out, believe it or not, is our scallops. When I cook scallops, I cook in pure butter. That's right. Pure well, butter. And I will go off, over the, need, I'll go over. Oh yeah. You need yeah, to go yeah, with yeah. the wine. Scallops request, yeah, well, well there's the, there's, fish. the reason for the wine, however, understand that the reason for the wine is not just, is not just for us to drink with the scallops. It is uh, actually used in the creation of the broth because we are cooking scallops uh, in a pan. The pan then is going to create um, the, the basically the flavor palette, if you will, at the end. And then with that flavor palette, we then pour the wine directly into, we take the scallops out, pour the wine directly into the hot, into the hot pan. And basically we use that to make a nice uh, sauce with. So we will have a Cajun garlic sauce at the end, which will go over angel hair pasta. Which we actually did which, uh, prepare ahead of time. Did you just say that? I was just about to and you interrupted <laughs> me. So we have pre-prepared uh, angel hair pasta, which has been sitting over here. And um, uh, uh, it's not just been sitting by itself, mind you. It, uh, it is sitting in a tray um, that has a very hot uh, paper towel over it and uh, I basically and, I, and it's about time that I add some more hot water to it. So basically the hot water it keeps it so that it doesn't stick together. Uh, you can't see me do things so I apologize but the hot water basically then runs off of the two layers of paper towel and keeps that nice and moist until we're ready to go. Actually we don't want to pour our nice hot sauce over a cold pasta after all but we need to make the pasta ahead of time so it's ready to go. So we, we'd pre-done that already. So, and remember, if you have a wine glass in each hand, you cannot touch your face. Yeah, so that is a big <laughs> safety tip uh, for the corona time right now yeah. is two wine glasses equal no touch of your face. <laughs> or, or we'll just cheers as the pan heats up. So basically what, what happens is this is I'm going to go through, I'm going to cook, and like I said, we're winging this whole thing like we do everything else. Got to test the wine though because if the wine's no good, if none of it's going to be any good. It works. Mm. We're going with Josh uh, Savernain Blanc. Um, you know, just a basic wine, nothing too fancy, nothing special. Okay, so basically, on, on our palate for today yes. is how we how I cook scallops is I cook it in pure butter. So we're gonna saute scallops right in pure butter, right here in the pan over the induction cooktop. This is five tablespoons of butter. Yes. You heard me correctly, five tablespoons of butter. The reason, once again, is because we need to have a broth at the end that we can pour over the pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this get up to temperature. And while it's doing that, um, we'll go out and tell you what else we're gonna be putting on this. Uh, we'll be making up our own, our own garlic seasoning, our, excuse me, not garlic, but Cajun seasoning. And that will be with a cracked peppercorn pepper. We'll be using some garlic powder, but also some fresh minced garlic, fresh minced garlic, some sesame seeds for some flavoring, cayenne pepper to add that zing and that spice in there, bang about a boom as they say, mm. and of course some Italian seasoning to go on top of that for, for to, to, to zing it all out. We then use a little bit of breadcrumbs at the end to thicken the sauce as required uh, uh, to our consistency that we like. Um, and once we have that consistency, that is what is, is pour, poured over the top of the entire thing at the end. So right now we're just letting this get nice and hot as you can see here. It's getting simmering right on up. You can probably hear the butter simmering. So it's actually ready to go at this point. Uh, induction cooktops cook very, very quickly. They are very fast cooking devices. Um, love induction cooktops. We do love in induction cooktops, yes. So as you can hear it, you can see it, everything's good. I'm actually going to turn it down a couple of notches right now um, and get it ready. And what I need to do now is I'm just going to basically, we're going to just take, take these really nice scallops, really nice uh, Cajun uh, uh, main scallops and get this all going. And you're going to hear this sizzle as we put it in. Yeah, look at that. So. <laughs> We should have some really nice butter scallops going on here. I'm gonna put them right around the edge of the pan and let them cook. And as they start to cook, you gotta be very careful with scallops because if you cook them in a, uh, if you cook them too fast, then they get tough. If you cook them too slow, well, they don't turn out right. 
Um, what you want is a nice little searing of the scallops. Um, in my opinion, you want the top seared nicely so the innards are nice and soft. I will now dispose of this since this is no longer needed. And the scallops are now starting to cook as they need to be. And so I'm just going to make sure I check my settings here, which is nice. I'm actually just going to angle the camera just a little bit more this way, guys. There we go. I probably just messed up all my formatting I had pre-done. So why these scallops are starting to cook now? Um, I'm going to start adding a few of the things to the top to get, to get the flavor going. So the first thing I'm going to start with is some cracked pepper. Yeah, i got to have cracked pepper. Actually, that's a little hot. I'm going to bring that down to about a 7 on our scale. And I'm also going to turn on our fan. Well, if I turn on our fan, you probably won't hear us very well. But what I'm doing right now is I'm adding some cracked pepper to the top of each of these scallops. And you can do it to a beat if you want to make a treat. And if you do that the right amount of times, you get the perfect amount. Mm -hmm. There you go, love. There you go. See? Okay, just kind of keep them going. You don't want them to stick to the pan. The butter, obviously, you don't want the butter to burn. And you don't, you also don't want to, uh, you don't want to, of course, put the garlic in too soon because if you make the mistake of putting the garlic in too soon, the garlic will burn and it'll turn black. And when it turns black, well, now you got a really bad taste. So you really don't want charred, charred um, um, garlic. garlic at all. So we want to make sure we get nothing sticking to the pan, which we don't have. Everything is sliding just fine. And we're just going to let those start to cook up like that. I hope enjoy. Are you guys enjoying this? I really hope you're enjoying this because I, I really don't have any other thing for you guys to do right now. Um, there's not a lot of you watching us, but that's okay. We didn't expect a lot of people. We just did this on a whim. So as that's going, now since that's starting to cook, I'm going to add, I know it's a bad, bad word since I'm using, I got fresh garlic. I am adding garlic powder. And the reason I'm adding garlic powder is because I want that flavor to be inside the sauce. I want a, gar a, nice, a nice Cajun garlic sauce at the end. So... I'm just kind of adding some garlic powder, not the garlic itself at this point, because the garlic, again, will burn. So I'm adding the garlic powder to what's going to end up being our, our sauce for our pasta at the end. Okay? Does that make sense? Are you all following this? Is this not entertaining? I keep looking at the damn thing over here and not looking over here. Is this not entertaining? So in any case... Um, just so you know, we do have our roof vent open. Uh, yes. To... Oh, good point, Fender. Very yes. good. Um, we do have our roof vent on, on the motor coach open to bring all this out because this will steam up the motor coach. Well, especially right now because it's only 43 degrees out. So believe it or not, we're in Texas and it's 43 degrees. So these are cooking up nicely and garlic, uh, uh, scallops, you can check the firmness just by touch and see how they're firming up. You want them to be springy, but not, not like a super inflated water bed. <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't know of another way to describe it. A super inflated waterbed. I'll, I'll but, take that. I've never cooked scallops. You have, so. So uh, these That's... are these are just going nicely along here, as you can see right there. So um, now, at this point, I'm going to add to the top of this. I'm going to add some cayenne pepper. Now we got to be careful with the cayenne. Cayenne is very a strong spice. Very strong spice. You overdo the cayenne, you overdo the taste on everything else because it can get a little bit hot. And so you want to be very careful with the cayenne. However, the cayenne is, is the main ingredient, if you will, to your Cajun, because the Cajun sauce is to be what, well, what, what, what it is when you think Cajun. You think spicy. So that's where the cayenne comes in. But be careful when you're putting them on the scallops themselves, because it will absorb right into that scallop and become very, very hot. Yeah, and if you're not into spicy things, you can certainly yeah. make up your own uh, spice mixture here and not make it spicy at all. Now I'm moving on, and we're going to be adding uh, some Italian pepper seasoning. Jeez, um, uh, I don't know where I'm pointing the camera right now. Italian spices. <laughs> this is basically the, the spice part. This is just the uh, assortment of spices. Now look, if you have a cayenne um, mixture, then you can definitely use cayenne and just not have to deal with what I'm doing here. 
but I do not have a cayenne mixture. I like to make it myself. So that's what I'm currently doing. And as you can see how this is coming out, it's coming out really nicely here. And these scallops are now at the point where they're probably ready to be turned. You can start to feel them. They're starting to firm up just a little bit, which means halfway they're cooked out. They're cooked about halfway through. So, um, so far so good. We will do the mince, the actual fresh minced garlic. We'll actually do that after we flip them, okay? So we did the garlic powder, the sesame seeds. Oh, why do I have sesame seeds that goes into occasion? Just because, well, we like sesame seeds. <laughs> yeah. So, so it adds a little bit. It just adds a little bit of, of a, a texture to it, and texture is part of the experience, so that's good. This is what they're looking right now. I'm going to grab the camera here, and hopefully this is going to work out. So just bear with me as I try to make this work. This is what they're looking like at this point. Very yummy, 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 yummy in my tummy. It will be soon. And it looks really good as you can see because now all those spices that we've added to the top are now baking into the scallops themselves. If I put this back the right way, I won't mess up all my positioning that I had set up. Yeah, somebody just mentioned, uh, hey, you know, if you don't want to, if you want to look at the camera, not the monitor, turn the monitor off. But that's how you're editing but yeah, between that, the shots. That, that is actually how I'm actually doing my live edits. I have preset buttons that I can touch, like there I just did. Go to a live shot, bam, live wide shot, there you go. Go to a pan shot, bam, there's a pan shot. Uh-oh, I hope that's not trademarked. Oh, that's right, the bam part. Oh, don't want to do that. Yeah, you're right. I, I, so, in any case, this is the power of the Mevo camera. The Mevo Plus camera allows us to do this, allows us to preset shots. Okay, actually, I'm talking too long. These are now ready to flip. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our flipping process with the first one I put in. You can see it. It's got a nice little brown texture on the bottom of it, um, which is exactly what we want. Not overdone, not, not, not burning. Um, Margaret, Loki is helping. Yeah, he's he's doing his normal supervising job of falling asleep on the job, really. Yeah. He's sound asleep behind us on the kitchen floor. So I'm just flipping these. I'll show you what they look like after they're flipped so you get an idea of what we're referring to in regards to the uh, correctly cooked but not burnt part. Okay. So this looks good here. And I'm going to just put this aside real quick. And this is what this looks like now. Let's go to a wide shot so I can better zoom. And this, oh, tag! I grabbed the tablet. <laughs> I guess I've had a little too much wine already. <laughs> but this is what it looks like now, as you can see. Um, they're nicely, nicely seared, not burnt. They're just got a nice little gold texture to them. So it, um, it's working out pretty well thus far. So that's good. Every time I move the camera, I don't know if I'm putting back in the right spot or not. So we just check the quick placement there. Oh, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> and then boom, go back. Okay. So, so boom. far, so good. Boom. boom. Instead of bam. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So now that we got that, and these are cooking up very nicely, as you can see, we got this nice, nice, nice. Mm, this aroma is so good. I wish you could smell it here. They haven't invented smell of vision yet. But here, I'm pushing it your way. Just, you know, this is not a Corona thing. This is a smell thing. So go ahead and feel free to smell it all you want. Um, so yeah, as you can see, that broth that's in there, by the way, that broth that's in there, they can see in that pan how it's collecting. That's what we're going to turn into our, our sauce at the end. You, you, and that's, that's why all the flavor goes in now. And then it turns into a sauce at the end using a... It um, goes over the Angel Hill process. Correct, going over the pasta, yeah. which is using, in order to do that, though, we do that with the wine, and the wine helps to clean the pan at the same time, if that makes sense. It kind of reduces it a little bit. And, yeah. Okay, now, since we've done all this at this point, I now can add my fresh garlic. Because occasion doesn't actually require garlic, but we like garlic. So, and if we would have added this too early, it would have been... It would have burned. Yeah, it would have been disastrous. And as you can tell, David just wings it. There's no measurements. It's well, all in, in practice and how you like it. Yeah. So I've done enough of these over time that I know how I want to prepare these scallops. And um, basically, I, I, I now let this, let the garlic now, the, the fresh garlic. Remember, before I added some garlic powder. So this time, I'm adding fresh garlic 
And this is what's going to really permeate into the sauce. Mmm, smelling really good. Isn't it though? Yeah. And now I can add my sesame seeds. Again, weird, I know, the sesame seeds. But what this is actually going to do for us is actually going to help us thicken the sauce up a little bit. And just in case it doesn't do it enough, I have on standby breadcrumbs. Yes, breadcrumbs. Italian breadcrumbs, but it's breadcrumbs nonetheless. And we do that in case we need to make the sauce, the sauce a little bit thicker. Make sense? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cool. You never know. You all following this so far? You enjoying yourselves? I hope you are. There's 57 of you that I can see. Margaret says, is there enough wine left? Yes. We, we, we Don't keep worry the wine. on the wine. Yes. So right now, um, as you can see, and I'm going to flip this over so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, these scallops are looking really good. Michael Davis wants to know if we've ever changed the dish to use shrimp instead. Um, no, we have not. But we good. that we definitely haven't done that, but we definitely could do that, that's for sure. Yeah. These scallops, just so you know, are just about done at this point. You saw me poking on them, and I'm poking them on my finger, and um, because and I because I wanted to see the firmness. And once they have this firmness, that they feel like, oh, let's see, what is the word I'm trying to find? Um, the waterbed idea <laughs> wasn't the best, and I keep licking my finger. That's okay. Brenda loves me. She kisses me. <laughs> nah. So see, it's okay. Germs are fine. Oh, you couldn't see that. Do it again just for fun. Nah. See? Fun. Okay? <laughs> so in any case, these scallops are basically just about perfectly done at this point. Do you want point. me to pull this out so we can plate it over here? Um, well, I figured we would we would plate it. Um, yeah, we can plate it right here. I guess this is fine. Okay. So these are done at this point. The scallops themselves are done. So now it's time to make the broth. And um, before I forget, I'm going to put this cover back on the garlic. No reason to have that sitting out like that. And I want you to reheat that pasta, which exactly is what Brenda is doing, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Brenda is reheating the pasta at this point. And by reheating, basically, we're adding hot water to the pasta. Where'd she go? Brenda, the, the thing's right there. I'm getting another. What? There was, that was one right there, pumpkin. I know. And as you can see, the pasta is still nice and fresh. They're not stuck together. And that's the whole idea of using paper towel with hot water on top of it. Yes. So it keeps moisture leaching through the pasta so the pasta doesn't bind together. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So Brenda is now going to plate the pasta for us. Plate the pasta. And while, See, I'm the sh sous chef. And while she's doing that, I am going to... And we just did eight ounces of pasta, just half a box, because um, just the two of us. And... And, and now while she's doing that, I am going to... Grab the scallops. The scallops are done at this point. So at this point, I'm going to grab the scallops and I'm going to plate them uh, to get them prepped for to be placed on top of the pasta. This is a lot of pasta. That's okay though. Leftovers uh, are fine for great. pasta. I'm gonna eat all the scallops though. Oh gosh, yes, the scallops are have not going to go to waste whatsoever, whatsoever. So yeah. All right. So what we have here now is a nice set of scallops. And um, I'm just going to set those aside right now. And this is what we this is what we're left with at this point. See that? This looks like it's a lot of gook and stuff, but we're gonna turn that into a uh, into a broth, into a, in a into a pasta sauce. And yes, just to answer a couple questions, this is an induction cooktop. Uh, you do need special pans for them. Uh, we bought these years and years ago. They're uh, T fall uh, copper bottom pans that we got off of Amazon. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to um, went the wrong way. This is where now the wine comes in. You hear that? I'm going to increase that a little bit more, get some more heat in there, and now we're going to just mix this in and make our and make our sauce. And while that is happening, Brenda can actually plate the scallops now. Now this is, you can see, hopefully that it's it, it's frothing up here. That's the wine burning off. 
And at the same time, it's cleaning all the stuff off the bottom of our pan, the scallops, the, 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 the uh, whatever, everything we've put into it at this point that had stuck to the pan is um, going to loosen up in this particular case. And this actually is not the right spatula for that. I need, I need a tough, I need my tougher spatula, the wood a wood one, so I can actually lift that off the bottom of the pan. I tried to get David to do this in a Julia Child accent, but that didn't quite work. Yes. <laughs> she did not, but I could say bon appetit. Yes, this is angel hair pasta. Yep. Just answering some questions. Uh, Margaret likes my shirt. <laughs> it is sloth t-shirt. So <laughs> as, you, you, Margaret. as you may or may not be able to see based on the angle, we are now loosing this, where all the stuff that was stuck to the bottom of the pan is now becoming loose uh, and becoming part of our our sauce. Okay, make sense? Hope so. Like I said, we didn't know if this was going to work out. Not that you guys need to know how to cook. We were just bored because who is it these days? Let's face it, you know. Um, and so we figured we would do this. And it's really cool actually to have 63 people out there currently right now watching us. Woohoo! So why not? That's pretty cool. So this is what we got. Let me grab this again. Yeah, don't want to put the microphone in there. So this is uh this is uh, I can't get that kind of like a roux, I guess yeah. you'd call it. Yeah, exactly. And you can see the bottom of the pan as I move this away is clear, and that's because we're basically cooking it off the bottom of the pan and making this nice this nice broth that's going to be our flavor over yeah. our angel hair pasta. You just don't want to cook it too long because just like the garlic and everything that's in it, it could it could cook too long and burn. Yep. So at this point, this roux, as Brenda called it, and I don't even know if that's the right word, I just went with it, looks pretty good to me. And I think this might be just a little thick. So this is where the breadcrumbs come in. Oh! Somebody yeah, said I did more add, butter, yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more cayenne pepper too, because I, I didn't, I don't think I had enough. So I'm going to add that we right like to the sauce. Extra spicy. I'm going to add a little bit more cayenne pepper and then I am going to add some breadcrumbs just to thicken, thicken it. it up a little bit not a lot just enough to thicken it up and we'll mix that up and you can see that thickening it up now look at that ah oh, perfect this is exactly what we wanted right there that is it that is the ticket this is what you were going for right there this is the good stuff <laughs> The breadcrumbs help bring that right in. And uh, once again, we'll see if we can see any of that. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that. Um, try to go to a wide angle shot here, bring that up and over. And uh, hopefully, you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about in regards to what's happening here. And if it got, again, if it got too thick, then you just add more wine. You can never have too much wine. Yeah. Well, actually, you can because then I'd make it a soup. I think Julia Child actually said that. Did she? You can never have too much wine. So and some now, of it makes it into the food. Yeah. <laughs> so now <laughs> this is actually thickened up a little bit too much because we've been talking. I should have already I should have already poured it. Um, so I'm just gonna have to mix that in because now it's become too thick and I don't want that obviously. And I'm gonna spring down my temperature. And now what's gonna happen is we're gonna take this like this and we're gonna plate it. Um, hey, Brent. What do you need? Why don't you just turn the camera so we can see the plating process real quick? And there you go. And so there we go. There we go. So this is basically what's going to happen now is I'm just going to get this down here like this, and put that over our put that over our pasta. Come back to this side. Do this one over our pasta and over our nice scallops. And unfortunately, I did. I was talking too much. And I wasn't paying attention and I made it thicker than it should have been. It should have been a little bit more uh, um, thin than this. Like a broth. More, well, not a broth, yeah. but, but it was a little thin. Um, but this will mix in nicely. This will mix in nicely, trust me. But the flavor, oh, I can already smell it. Oh, mm. My mouth is watering. <laughs> How can it not be, right? So. Get that off of there. Turn off those. 
And we're gonna just take this, make sure we have it all, drop it into there. Get all the goodies. Get all the goodiness. And there you have basically our two plated scallops, Cajun David style. Yum. Hey, I didn't say this episode would be exciting or anything. Uh, we just said that we were bored and we were going to go live making our dinner for the evening. Because, hey, we can and we did and I'm glad you guys were a part of it. Yeah, that was right? fun. It was different. I mean, we did something totally different. That's, this, this, this was outside our bubble uh, doing this and um, making scallops Trying live. Trying to get out of the way so you can see Loki now. Oh. Our not... supervisor. We can show him Loki. Yes. There's our supervisor, hard at work. <laughs> the good thing is Loki. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, Loki. The good thing is, is Loki does not bother us for human food. No. He's been very well trained in regards to that. Yeah. So that's good. That's, that, that's really good. He doesn't bother us. So in any case, um, we're going to eat this while it's hot because after all we've made it and it's not cheap to buy scallops. <laughs> so, so we want to uh, eat them while we can. We thank you for joining us tonight. We hope you enjoy what we do. We try to have fun when we're doing it. And um, just pass some time. Just pass some time. <laughs> hey, if you like what we do, please click subscribe if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what the heck is this? Normally, this is not this. Normally, it's not RV David talk. and Brenda cooking show or no. David cooking show. Yeah, normally it's it's RV talk and we talk about RV related and, and living on the road topics. But, but we other did than just that, cook this in an RV. That is very true. And now we're going to eat it yes. in an RV or a motor coach. So uh, thank you for joining us. Hope it uh, was worthwhile and we brought some entertainment to you this evening. That was our uh, it was our hope. So that was fun. Yeah, I'm David. I'm Brenda. That's Loki, and we're out of here. Outsiderbubble.com. Come. Ah. Bye, everyone. Take care. Keep safe. Keep six feet and everything else you're supposed to do. Bye. Bye. <laughs>